Dear students, in this module, I'll elaborate the Needleman Munch algorithm with the help of an example. In the Needleman Munch algorithm, you computed the alignment matrix element by element. Each element involved utilization of the top diagonal and the left elements to compute it. Once you have reached the bottom right, that is the last element in the matrix, your entire matrix is completely calculated. Now, during this process, you used gamma, alpha and beta. So gamma was the gap penalty, alpha was the matching score or reward and beta was the mismatch penalty. So using three values that we'll see in this example, we'll compute the entire matrix for two sequences. Let's start. To begin with, if two amino acids, they match, then we will give it a score of 10. If two amino acids or nucleotides do not match, we'll give it a score of minus 2. And if there is a gap or space, we'll give it a score of minus 5. So in this example, we have two nucleotide sequences, C, T, C, G, C, A, G, C here. and Another sequence on the i axis C A T T C A C. So, by now you understand that these two sequences can be of different lengths as well. So, the initial condition for Needleman Wunsch is that 0, 0 is given the value of 0, and the first element here is equal to minus gamma and gamma here is minus 5 so minus 5 here so here is minus 2 gamma minus 3 gamma minus 4 gamma minus 5 gamma and so on so the scores that are computed are like that and you can see these scores are placed here already for you similarly for the vertical axis or the i elements, you have minus 1 gamma, minus 2 gamma, minus 3 gamma, minus 4 gamma, and gamma is minus 5, so it will be minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, like that. And all of them have been calculated and written here for you. Okay, so that much is for the initial condition. And now we would like to compute the first element here. We cannot compute any other element here because none of these elements have the three neighbors present except this element in case. In this case, we have all three neighbors. So let's compute this. So the value for Cij will be equal to the maximum of the diagonal, the top, and the left. So the diagonal here is 0, and C and C will match. So match will be plus 10. So D will be 10. So top is minus 5 so gap is minus 5 so the maximum will obviously be 10 so the maximum of these values is simply put here so now you have computed one element let's take a look at this element as well note that now we can compute two elements because for each one of these we have all three requirements available now. Okay, so let's first start by calculating this element. So T does not match with C, so we will get a minus 2. So minus 5 minus 2 will be equal to minus 7. Minus 5 is coming from here, the diagonal. and in this case, 
the left element is 10 so the gap penalty is minus 5 so the answer will be 5 so here on top it is minus 10 the gap penalty is minus 5 this will be minus 15 so the maximum from these three is obviously 5 so we will put 5 here and therefore we have computed two elements in the matrix like that so dear students element by element you can compute the entire matrix and i have filled it up for you here as you can see these were the elements that we computed together and the rest you can compute using the same strategy remember that the gap penalty is minus 5 mismatch is minus 2 and plus 10 is for the match so in conclusion the needleman wunsch algorithm can help you to align dna rna or protein sequences given that you assign a mismatch penalty a match reward and a gap penalty in the scoring scheme also the optimal alignment will be extracted by utilizing this matrix